This is a good question. What would we do without Italian food? Now, if you're like me and you've been carnivore or you're ketovore or ketogenic, well, Italian food is out of the question. But a good substitute is worth its weight in gold. Viking friends out there. I am so happy you can join me today because, well, I am trying to replicate noodles and pizza. And I know other YouTubers have done this in the past, but I discovered that crab legs or imitation crab legs thereof, well, they come in rolls. And interestingly enough, they don't taste like much. So I wanted to see if imitation crab legs could be turned into noodles. Who knows? And then I've also seen egg life. Now I have already dipped into this. I love these. These are amazing. And quite honestly, they just contain egg whites, xanthan gum, and natural flavoring. Not sure what the natural flavoring, flavoring is, but... You know, I'll take it. And I am super excited because I could test out whether or not egg life or crab legs, artificial crab legs, taste like noodles. So let's get started. I'm going to take a pizza cutter. And I am going to see if the egg life would make nice, clean noodles. And they do. They, they kind of make kind of like these strips. And I could cut them in various widths. This one's a very, very thin piece. So quite honestly, this would be okay it does break but we're going to go ahead and cut it into thin strips not super thin and see what happens from there okay folks I have cut these into thin noodly strips, as you can see. And I'm going to set these aside because I'm going to do the same with the crab legs. Instead of using a pizza cutter, I'm going to use just a regular knife and cut down and make thin strips like such. Now these should pull apart and they do. Kind of like mozzarella sticks actually. And so I'm going to continue to do this to make thin strips of crab legs. And there we have it, some thin strips of crab legs, artificial of course. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to throw this onto a hot searing pan, each on different pans of course, I'm not sure what to do, I guess I'm just going to include these and see what happens. I'm going to throw them in with some butter. Now that everything's melted, I'm going to throw these into the pan here. So we'll start with the crab, the imitation crab, which we cut into noodles. Okay. 
like so. And then we are going to try egg life. And we are going to put on a medium to high heat on both and see what happens. We're gonna coat both with butter here. And see what happens. sponsor but it looks good and there's only three net carbs in here so I turned off the heat and unfortunately the egg life got a little crispy that actually looks pretty good I wouldn't say looks the best, but I want a taste test. First, I'm going to try the imitation crab. The texture's there. It tastes like noodles, except it has a slight fishy flavor. If you like fish, then this is definitely an option. If you don't like fish, well, then you probably won't like this option. I think it's delicious. Okay, let's try the second noodle. This is out of the egg life. Now I did crisp up the noodles so you cannot put it on high or medium high. I would put it directly in the sauce and grill it up that way. Mm. Flavor wise, I love it. It's good. It's not a noodle but it definitely could take up the place of a noodle. I don't know which one I like better. All right, this is fishier. The texture and the consistency and the way it wraps around the fork, it can take the place of a noodle if you like seafood. So if you like anything that would make a seafood dish, Using pasta, this one right here. If you want more bread-like, if you want something that has a chewier texture, then the egg life. Okay. Right. On to number two. 